Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to customize Assistive Touch Mini on the iPhone. So, today in front of me is the iPhone 12 with the iOS 17.4, but it really doesn't matter which iPhone you have or which iOS you have, it's all going to work the same on every iPhone, so it doesn't matter which iPhone you have. So. What you want to do is to go to the settings. As you can see now, I do have the assistive touch here before you're going to go to the settings. And as you can see, I have some controls right here. So if you want to change it, go to the settings. Then you want to swipe down a little bit to go to the accessibility. Then you want to go to the touch and then go to the assistive touch. So now you can turn off the assistive touch or turn on. And then you have this customized top level menu. So click on this one. And here, as you can see, you have now your mm, icons and place of the icons uh, of the menu. You can add some icons to here up to eight and you can do just one icon uh, also in the assistive touch. So let's say you wanna have eight icons so you want to have the, uh, you know, the most options. You can also click reset, so it will bring you the factory settings of the assistive touch. So let's add eight icons. And now, as you can see, we have those pluses right here. So also, if you want to customize your hole, let's just delete all of them. And as you can see, now we do have seven pluses. So click on the plus. And here, as you can see, you have a lot of options. So, really, really a lot of options right here that you can add to the assistive touch. So, let's maybe add up switcher and click done. As you can see, now you have the option, the up switcher right here. Let's add plus. Maybe we want to have control center also. So click that. Then maybe I want to have lock rotation, because why not? Then I want to have maybe mute. Also, I want to have the, I don't know, maybe a screenshot. Okay, let's add a screenshot. And maybe I want to have the, let's say, control Nerby devices. And as you can see, those settings that I uh, added already, they are a little bit, you know, um, gray and not like the black ones right here that are just uh, faded so also I want to add maybe let's say the camera all right so as you can see now I do have the customized top level menu with those icons I just added and if I go back to the main screen and open the control center, I'm going to have those apps right here, those uh, just shortcuts. So if I wanna go to the camera, as you can see, now I'm in the camera. If I wanna go to the app switcher, I'm in the app switcher right now. Lock rotation, unlock rotation, control center, as you can see, everything is working. Screenshot, also it is working. I'm going to delete it because I wanna. <laughs> I don't want to have it. Unmute, mute. There are a lot of options uh, that you can add to this little circle right here. So, again, how to get to the settings. Sorry, open settings. Let me go back to the main screen. So, open settings, then go to the control center. Uh, sorry, the accessibility. Then you want to go to the touch, then assistive touch, and right here you have this option customize top level menu, and you're going to be right here. So, this is it. 
Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please leave a like and consider to subscribe to our channel. Bye.